Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock with the final in the series of Advent videos for 2019. These are all based on Isaiah 9, 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And each week I've taken one of these titles and used it as the, the basis for my Bible journaling. This one is going to be Everlasting Father. And he gave me the word reveal. And I'm asking him to reveal everlasting truth. Reveal to me and to you, if you choose to pray along with me, reveal the truth of what our salvation really means. What his incarnation really means for our eternity. And what is eternity? Just thinking about that is mind-blowing to me sometimes. Because just thinking about next week seems overwhelming. And thinking about eternity, we're going to be around for eternity with him, which is going to be a great place to be if you're going to be in eternity. But what is just the concept of something that doesn't end? Because everything here on earth ends. It's just the way things are. and sometime they're not going to end. So anyway, onto the painting. I'm putting a gradation of colors. I wanted sort of a, a yellowish color right above the manger. And then I'm adding other colors above it because I want to put the text up there. So I need dark enough color that white text will work. Because I have this obsessive thing about doing a series that matches. So all four of them you'll see at the end. And I wanted to have white text there, so I'm going to need to have enough color. But I, I tried to lighten some texture there. I'm going to do another layer over top and that sort of thing. But I wanted at least to have a start in my first layer to put some color down. I'm going to do the reverse on the bottom. So I'm going to have the yellow at the top, and then I'm going to start getting into the reds, the oranges, and then down into that really dark, dark, dark color at the very bottom. And if your watercolors don't go really dark, then just add several layers. That's just what you end up doing is just adding more layers to get richer color. It may look really weak at first, but it will build up over time. Now, if you're really impatient, then you might want to get a better set of watercolors. In general, any kind of art supply that you're going to get, if you pay more for it, you get better quality. And what better quality means is better pigmentation more pigment is going to be on the page. When you go for the Crayola watercolors, there's just not much pigment in them. They're not meant for, you know, like kind of pro professional quality. You don't have to have professional quality, but, you know, if you stay away from the ones that are meant for just kids to play with, you tend to get a little better on the pigment. So here's another layer of that nice, rich, dark color. Look at how beautiful that red is building up now. And I'll do the same thing on the bottom and let that, that bottom get really dark. The dark color that I tend to use on this is called Payne's Blue Gray. It's not black. I have a neutral tint in my palette, but Payne's Blue Gray has a little bit of a blue to it, so it doesn't end up feeling really heavy and black in the way that some, some black kinds of paints could use. But you could end up using them and be fine as well. But just wanted you to know that that's the color I'm using. And so I'm just going to tap it with a baby wipe and add a little bit of texture because I love texture. I really do. And I love how a baby wipe can sort of fix some of the blending areas. If you have places that aren't blending quite right, add a little bit of texture and that just kind of hides all of that. So once I got all of that background done and was satisfied with where it was, then I mixed up some of that dark paints blue gray and just made basically a big H and filled in the top of the H. Super simple to make a manger this way. And then I took a little smaller brush. The first one that I was using was a number 12 round and this is a number eight round. Now, some people would think it's, you know, that's still a big brush, but I like to use big brushes. And I'm just making kind of the, the bottoms of some of the hay in the manger with that dark color. And then I'm going in with like an orangey color to make the top part of the hay. But I'm leaving some spaces open so that I'm not filling it all in, just making some little marks so it looks like hay. And since we're still in Advent, I'm not putting the baby in there because there's no baby yet. We're still in Advent. So if this was a Christmas page, I could put a baby in it, but 
we are saved from having to figure out how to draw a baby. Isn't that nice by doing something like this for Advent instead? And so I kind of let a little bit of the colors blend together and then just took a baby wipe and tapped a little bit and let some of those colors move together just a little bit and went in with a little bit more of that dark color to make sure I get my coverage really good on the silhouette of the manger. And then I'll take the brush and even add a little bit of that same color in the hay at the top, just to add a little bit of contrast, just because I overkill everything. And then put a shadow underneath that's just sort of a sketchy line across it. My last step was to add my text to it. So in a white pen, I added the word reveal everlasting truth. I want him to show me in a new way what it is to be everlasting. What is eternity going to be like with him? My other pages from this series were revealing my true condition. He is the counselor who knows my true condition and can diagnose and fix me. He can reveal true peace if I turn to him, what is that true peace that comes only from Jesus? And he can reveal his almighty power. He is so much bigger than I make him in my life. And I want to see him in bigger ways. I want to see him do more. I want more of Jesus. And I hope you do too. Have a blessed Christmas celebration with your family and your church. And I will see you again after the new year. And we will start this journey up all over again. Take care. Bye-bye.